I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand how to solve optimization problems when a cylinder is inside a cone. The question here is, a cylinder is inscribed in the right circular cone of altitude 12 cm, radius of the base 4 cm. Find the dimensions of the circular cylinder to maximize surface area and to maximize volume. So there are two different parts to it. Most of the time in when you have these kinds of questions, we are interested in surface area and volume. So I'll consider both of them in this particular example. So first step always is to sketch. So let us sketch a cone first, uh, which is given to us with 12 centimeter as the altitude. Let us say this is the cone for us. I'm using light colors and uh, then we'll and inside the cone we will make a cylinder right so let us say this is a cone for us okay whose radius is given to us as four centimeters so so this let us say this from the center we have this distance as four centimeters now inside this cone we want a cylinder so let us say that is the cylinder for us okay so and then we'll, let's get it back here to the bottom let us say that is the cylinder for us okay whenever we talk about cylinder we are interested in two dimensions one of them is the radius so let us say the radius is r and then height let us say this is the height so let us say height of our cylinder is h so those are the dimensions which we need to figure out as far as the cylinder is concerned and uh, for the given cone we know that this height is 12 so this is 12 for us let me write 12 here so that is 12 and 4 is the base right so that is 4 so these dimensions are given to us for the cone we need to maximize surface area that is part one and then we'll also see how to maximize volume the reason of taking both of them together is that we have almost the same strategy right strategy here is we are working with two variables radius and height we need to find a relation of one variable with respect to the other how do we do that in this scenario whenever a cone and a cylinder are involved now the best way to do it is look into triangles which are similar so let me say uh, this let me label some triangles. Let's say A, B, and C. So that big triangle is similar to let me call this point as C, and this point here as D. Right. So if you consider the triangle, big triangle ABC, you'll find that this triangle is similar to triangle. Uh, I mean, let me call this E. Right. So C D E these two are similar triangles uh, why so now both of them the big triangle they are right angles correct so this is right angle plus we have this common angle do you see that so AA property so we say property uh, which is double A right so that is the property which makes them similar now when these triangles are similar in that case ratio of sides will be constant so ratio of sides will be AB, big triangle, AB is 12, divided by BC, which is 4 for us, should be equal to ED, which is H, over DC. Now DC is 4 minus R, since this is R for us, so this is R, so 4 minus R, 4 minus R. So that gives you a relation between H and R, so this is 12 divided by 4 is 3 we can write this so h is equals to 3 times 4 minus r so that becomes the relation between h and radius so first part is find the relation between the two variables you are working with so once we have found this we'll say let this be equation number 1 and now we will see how to maximize surface area now what is the surface area of the cylinder so let's start with part a which is surface area of cylinder 
Now, self surface area of cylinder, let's say S, is equals to there are two surfaces on the top which are circular top and bottom so it is 2 times pi r square plus lateral surface which is 2 pi r times h 2 pi r times h right now since we already have a relation for h which is 3 times 4 minus r we can substitute h with this value so we get 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r times let me write this as 12 let me write this as 12 minus 3r okay so we get this as 12 minus 3r so we got surface area in terms of r so single variable now to we can find the derivative right to maximize so that will give us a critical point so which will be 4 pi r and uh, when you multiply this uh, we could say 2 pi r uh, 2 pi times let me do product now 12 minus 3 r plus derivative of inside function times 2 pi r inside function is minus 3 right so so it says minus 3 times 2 pi r so that becomes the derivative we used the product rule here correct now what is the limit for r in this particular case as you can see r could be from 0 to 4 so r is either greater than equal to 0 or is less than equals to 4 so these are other boundary conditions which we could test surface area at so if i write 0 here then i'll get that expression uh, which will be 0 so we know s let's find the critical number first and then if i equate this to 0 and solve for r what do i get so let me expand this we have 4 pi r plus if I multiply by 2 24 pi minus 3 times 6 pi r and here 6 pi r correct so that becomes the expression now combining the terms uh, 4 pi r minus 6 pi r is minus 2 pi r so we get minus 8 pi r so 24 pi minus 8 pi r equals to 0 and from here we get r as equal to when you equate this so we get or you can write one more step 8 pi r equals to 24 pi or r equals to 24 pi divided by 8 pi so 8 goes 3 times so r is 3 for you so in this particular condition we get r equals to 3 for a maximum surface area of a cylinder right now as an exercise what you can do is uh, you know surface area find surface area s for 3 right so calculate this value so when you plug in 3 you will get your answer right so it is 2 pi times 3 square which is 9 times 2 18 so i'm just writing 18 pi here uh, plus we'll use this expression since I know r here 3 3 times 3 is 9 and uh, 9 minus 12 is 3 3 6 6 times 3 is 18 so 18 pi right so plus 18 pi okay so just substitute here value of 3 calculate s of 3 right so 3 square is 9 9 times 2 is 18 so we get 18 pi from the first term in this case if i put 3 here 9 12 minus 9 is 3 here it is 3 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 2 18 so we get s of 3 as 36 pi so that becomes the surface area in centimeter square perfect if you substitute s of uh, 0 you'll find that to be 0 and if I substitute s as 4 that will also be uh, and that is equals to s of 4 which is equals to 0 so from here you can say maximum is at r equals to 3 so to maximize surface area the dimension should be r is 3 and you can find what h is so h will be equals to if I write 3 here 4 minus 3 so I get 3 times 4 minus 3 which is indeed itself right so for the first part we get our answer to maximize we get r equals to 3 centimeters 
and h equals to 3 centimeters. Is that okay? So that is how you could solve this particular question, right? So we have done part A. Now let us look into part B, right? So I'll do part of it. Now you know the how to solve it. So what is the volume of cylinder? So now we are considering part B, which is volume of cylinder. So volume is pi r square h. h we already found as equals to pi r square. h could be written as 12 minus 3 r. 12 minus 3 r. This time I will actually expand this. It becomes kind of simpler. So if I expand we get 12 pi r square minus 3 pi r q. Derivative of this function volume is 24 pi r minus 3 3 is 27 sorry 3 times 3 is 9 okay 3 times 3 is 9 pi r square okay so that becomes the derivative now critical point will be when this is 0 so that means 24 pi r minus 9 pi r square and to equate them to 0 we'll get r is equals to uh, well let me just take it on the other side 25 pi divided by 9 pi right so pi and pi cancels and you can simplify this dividing both by 3 so we get 8 over 3 so radius will be 8 over 3 for maximum volume you can substitute 8 over 3 in this expression to find height so height will be equals to uh, 12 minus uh, 3 times 8 over 3 which is 8 so that means 4 correct so for maximum volume the solution is r equals to 8 over 3 centimeters and height is 4 centimeters right so in a short space and in a shortcut kind of method but it's complete details I have shown you how when a cylinder is inscribed in a given cone we can solve for maximum area and maximum volume right so so it, obviously the sizes are very different right but what you see here is that in such cases first step is always to relate radius and height once you have related them then you find equation of surface area or volume in one variable find the critical number and get your answer I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.